Baron Georgiou thought his life was all sorted. He was happy enough making a decent living, swapping words between different languages for various employers. But then, one night, he looked up and never looked back. He saw Saturn through a telescope and decided there and then to ring some changes and become an astronomer. He's now on his way, studying at the physics faculty at the Alexandra Yohan Cousy University, or university, it sounds roughly like that, I didn't check the pronunciation, and spending all the time he can staring up at the heavens. He's gone from translator to translunar, but will he leave us in trance tonight? Defying astronomical odds, we bring you Bogdan Georgiou. <laughs> Big Bang Theory. What could possibly make a rational astrophysicist believe that all the matter, all the energy, the entire universe was once concentrated in an infinitely dense and small point? That sounds crazy. However, Albert Einstein explained how space is like a 3D fabric that can be stretched and curved. And Edwin Hubble, who was an actual human being before being a telescope, <laughs> discovered the fact <laughs> that the universe was expanding. And if today the universe is expanding, then yesterday it was smaller. Turn back the clock long enough and the universe had a beginning. If you take a certain kind of telescope and you point it in any direction in space, you can see the echo of the Big Bang, a background glow, a temperature of three Kelvin, which is very cold, but still three degrees more than zero Kelvin. It is a free heat found everywhere in the universe that we called the cosmic microwave background radiation. Now, we have all known ever since we were little children that the speed of light is finite. So, the further back I look in the universe, the deeper in the past I see. And what do I notice? I notice that in the past, the universe was hotter and hotter and hotter. We never see stars older than 13.8 billion years, the age of the universe. Also, according to the Big Bang Theory, a millionth of a millionth, of a millionth of a millionth, of a millionth of a millionth, of a second after the Big Bang, the universe expanded from the size of a subatomic particle to the size of a ping pong ball. That is a huge expansion in a short amount of time. And such a violent event sends shock waves through the fabric of space time itself called gravitational waves. Now, how cool would it be if we actually found those waves? They could tell us about the birth of our universe. But how could we detect them after almost 14 billion years? Imagine an ocean. Imagine the waves coming in one by one and disturbing the grains of sand on the shore. The waves go back into the ocean, but they leave traces in the sand. Now, the universe is not made of sand, but it is full of the cosmic microwave background radiation. And scientists have discovered the traces of the gravitational waves created by the Big Bang on the cosmic microwave background radiation and they did it this year. If this isn't evidence, I don't know what is. Can you feel it? Can you feel how close we've come to answering this old question, where do we come from? Thank you. Well, but then I, like you, I was very excited by that result earlier this year. Have you heard the, the most recent news, which may be what they detected, which they thought was ripples, gravitational waves in the Big Bang, it was just dust, space dust. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I haven't heard that news, but uh, of course, this is uh, just a first experiment. There has to be more experiments that can confirm that. But uh, it is uh, an extraordinary finding, and maybe it will not be confirmed, but uh, so far, it's, uh, yeah, we got our hopes up. Um, do you, can, I mean, you, you mentioned that the, 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 the waves, the gravitational waves on the Big Bang leaving an imprint on the cosmic yeah. microwave background. Do you know how, I mean, what is it they see when they detect this radiation from space? Okay. The cosmic microwave background radiation is like a baby picture of the universe. So imagine the universe in a picture looking all cute and funny and sweet. But <laughs> the picture is a little bit distorted. And those distortions... Uh, the, the, they are, the picture is distorted in, a, in such a way that the only culprit for it could be the gravitational waves. But uh, what, exactly, what you asked me is exactly what happened. So it's about the light polarization. Uh, normally, 
uh, the light is oriented from, uh, from the hot spots to the cold spots. But uh, with the gravitational waves, uh, that orientation isn't uh, as, it, as it normally should be. So uh, that, that detection, 50% of the cosmic background radiation, that detection made them believe that it was the gravitational waves. It, it was unfair to ask you to yeah. explain something as technical as that, because I couldn't do it. <laughs> in light one polarization minute. is very complicated to explain. <laughs> I, I yeah. agree, absolutely. Unfair yeah. question. <laughs> Five yard penalty for Janelle Kalili. <laughs> <laughs> big no, bang, big bang for Bogdan Georgiou. Thank you.